Okay, it is it's Thursday, um, September 14th, or September 14th. I just got to Urban. On the menu today we have high bar squats, and then some touch and go bench, and some tempo bench. So, I'm gonna get in that MV Pre, get it under a bar. So yeah, goal, like I said, for the, the session is to work up to our own. I'll see how 170 moves, but around 225 to 230 if it's there. Um, I'll see how the warms are moving. And then, bench will be whatever it feels. We'll probably hit 150 for a single again. Um, and I'm a, or I might just avoid the single altogether and just go into the volume work. We'll see. Thumbs up. Cheers. Andy's first comp on Sunday. What are your goals? What are you going to squat? Over 160, bench 120, which should be a big PB. Deadlift 200. That's the man. Oh, it's going to become a man. Rock <laughs> <laughs> So that is top single done on high bars. Uh, I got through that pretty quickly. In 230, I did 220 the last time, but I actually felt like that moved pretty okay. I tipped forward a little bit, getting a little bit of a niggle up here. I'm gonna see TJ and Galway next Wednesday. Um, so I'll just get a bit of a rub done on it, maybe some needle work on it. Um, it's just, it's been about two weeks and it's still there, and I got it on high bars. Um, but for now, we're gonna up four reds, uh, 200 and 20 for a set of three. Um, it's going to be hard. It's going to be like up at that RP9 territory. I'm excited for it. I want to bang it out, get it done, put it in the bank. Let's go. So, squat's done. Wasn't so bad, actually. Um, got through pretty quickly. Very happy, especially after training three days in a row. That's PB on high bars. 
These, by the way, like this is realistic. This is, I'm just, I've been training for a very long time. Um, I haven't been in a competition block for, you know, a couple of months. So this is just me kind of like expressing current strength and finding where it's at. Um, you know, I'm just on an upward trend at the moment. That is going to plateau. Um, these top singles are just there as a benchmark to get a gauge for where my strength is currently at and what I should be doing for my back off. The strength is built on the back off, it's not built on the top singles. The top singles are just a guide, don't get too attached to them, take it for what it is on the day. Um, they're a good gauge for where you're at on that day, where your current strength is, but that is it. Um, I happen to be hitting PBs with them at the moment on squats, but I'm not on deadlifts. I mean, I'm a rap squatter, a squat in wraps. My best rap squat is 312. So I'm building up towards, I'm hoping to finish out those comp squats that are on 275 next week. 270, 275. It's a huge PB again, but it's that's going to be like less than an opener in the wraps. You know what I mean? So it's, it's all about putting it in perspective. Um, deadlifts, I mean, 310 yesterday is probably in around opener, maybe a little less. Like from what I need, based on what my goals are. They didn't move like an opener yesterday, they moved fine. I'm certainly didn't look like an opener. So, the strength is still being built. Um, definitely feeling the wear and tear today, uh, especially the frequency of training so many days in a row. My biceps are on fire, they're throbbing, the tendons, like all in here. This is all very normal stuff. Um, normal. So I'm gonna take a couple minutes, let that kind of ease up. And I've got some touch and go bench. Um, so I probably won't take a single on that today. Um, I'll probably just take my working sets at 120. Um, again, just trying to get that volume. Again, this is the third day in a row benching. Like I said, I do have a strain, so I need to be mindful. So I'm not going to go over 120. Um, I just want to get through this week, reevaluate and assess next week. Um, like I said, I go to, I'm going to go see TJ in Galway next Wednesday. So I'll go through some stuff with him, things that I can be doing at the gym, just to kind of keep an eye on it. And yeah, that's it. Um, all right, I'm gonna go and get myself ready for bench and get the fuck out of here.
right, so that is another session done and dusted. Um, actually, I'm pleased overall. Uh, very happy with the squats working up to 230 for a single, especially after only hitting 265 two days ago. Um, again, both PBs in those variations of squat. Um, what else do we have? Then I had 220 for a triple and 210 for a triple, so uh, pleased with both of those sets. Um, so I do have a little bit of a kind of a rhomboid niggle strain. I've been there for a few weeks, it's not like affecting my ability to do anything. I'm just very aware of it all the time. I can feel it a lot when I put my head down like that or if I'm kind of laying down or I'm pressing the bar in. It doesn't affect my ability to perform, I'm just aware of it. So, um, go up see TJ, like I said, in Galway on Wednesday, probably um, film some of that. Um, sit down and have a chat with him and get a rub down. Yeah. Um, then I moved into touch and go bench. Decided not to take a single. Um, I did, I pyramided up, so um, I did ascending sets. So I started off 100 kilos for 10, then 120 for 10, then 140 for 10. Um, again, nothing to complain about. Good burn in there. Uh, overall, very, very good. Then I had some tempo bench. I just kept it at 70 kilos. Three seconds down, three seconds up. Sets of 10 again. A nice burn, nice pump in the triceps and pecs. Um, overall, very productive session. My biceps are throbbing. They're not as bad as they were after the squats. Just cranking down on them, holding the bar in the squat. Um, it does happen, I am prone to it. And like I said, the frequency, the way training has worked out this week has just been like back to back to back. And another session tomorrow, I'm supposed to have tempo deadlifts. I'm gonna see how the body's feeling. Um, I definitely won't be able to train Saturday and Sunday. On Saturday, um, we have some people competing, and then on Sunday, it's Jamie's first day of rugby, so I'm definitely going to be there for that. Um, trying to get him to play rugby for years. He's five, by the way, so not that many years, but um, I'm super excited for that, and so is he. But um, yeah, then we got other, we do have some other people competing on Sunday, so I'm excited to see how they get on and watch on the live stream. But um, yeah, overall, productive session. Um, I'm gonna call it a day there. Guys, if there is anything you wanna see, if you've been enjoying the content so far, if you've been engaging with it, if there's, you know, if you look forward to seeing it every week, you're interested in it, uh, please do drop a comment below or shoot me a DM on Instagram. Let me know what you wanna see. Is there any more kind of, is there kind of informative content you'd like me to put out? Is there, what do you wanna see? Um, Cause I'm just kind of catching my training and some day to day stuff. Like, is there anything you wanna see? Is there some information you want? Is there like, Here's the best way to warm up for squat, or here is, you know, the best way to add kilos to your bench, the best variations to improve your bench press techniques, you know, things like that. Are there things like that you want to see? Do you want to see more food related stuff, more lifestyle stuff, kind of behind the scenes and backgrounds of running the business? Um, if there is anything like that that you're interested in, please do let me know in the comments below. Good morning. It is... But 6.45, it is Saturday morning. I am just leaving Urban. Um, I had to run in, pick up some kit. Uh, just about to leave Urban and make my way to Cork. Um, we have got one lifter in this in later on today. Her name is Blotnet. Her first competition. Um, and she is competing in the IPF Open in Phenom in Cork. Um, on the way there, if you go pick up Alex Cremens, so I'm gonna give him a lift down the road as well. He has a lift around this morning. Morning, love. Sorry, what's that? Oh, fuck's sake, I thought it was fat. <laughs> Still half asleep. No late last night? Uh, actually wasn't. So it's now about half eight. We've been on the road for about... Half hour 20. Well, I've been on the road for about two hours, mm. and I was sitting out his house for about 45 minutes. Fuck off. It was like <laughs> five. Uh, so yeah, we just arrived to Phenom. We'll go up, check it out. Like I said, I don't know how often I'll pull this out, but I'll show some of what's going on today, and um, we'll go from there. Who have you got up first? Megan. We got Megan in the 63s. First camp 63. Let's go. Just told her not to cut, because fuck that. 
Yeah, no, no cut for this is so yeah, outrageous. <laughs> yeah. Would I have a good total? What's your answer? Yeah, yeah. Um, probably like 125-ish squat, 65 bench, probably like 160, 165 deadlift. So it'd be a good day. Nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> junior open? Junior, yeah. Junior? Yeah, probably. St probably. Strong girl. Yeah, it'd be like mid threes, like, you know, if not higher, so high trees, I'd say. I think. I don't know. All right, let's go. That's it. It's very boring, yeah. but she doesn't want to make it up. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. Okay. How are you? Good. 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 for a few minutes um, you saw that's phenom just got a quick uh, McDonald's breakfast champion so breakfast is still on so haven't eaten anything yet today so pick that up bon appetit <laughs> Podcast on YouTube. Let's go out. Two hundred and eighty kg. Let's go out. Two hundred and eighty kg. Very 
Easy opener, what do the judges say? Three white lights! Bravo. Out there. 150 kilo, go on the bar, blow it for your chain. Let's go, chain! Let's see what the judges say. That is three white lights for Jane. Good work. p.m. So I saw some of the comp and I was a bit selective on who I wanted to show you. <laughs> I definitely had some favourites so you see some of those. Blonde had a great day, 9 for 9, her first comp, very pleased with that. Alex, how did your girl Megan get on? Good, she won. Uh, 8 for 9, 25 kilo total PB. DM for coaching. I do. <laughs> yeah, if you want to get um, through to Alex for coaching, you want to look, go to Instagram, it's at Benson Strength Coach, <laughs> drop a DM. <laughs> <laughs> Zealous coaching coming yeah. soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're hitting the road, and I'll check in when I check in. <laughs>